Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to tell you who returned for episode 6 of What If, Marvel's What If series, which is on Disney+. Plus. And this is a fun thing that I've been doing uh, every week, where, yeah, I'm pointing out all the actors from the films that have returned to return to do their voices. Now, we've already had some uh, return in some of the previous episodes, some actors that didn't return, and I'll tell you who didn't return also and who replaced them, um, as well as some of the new ones that haven't appeared yet, but have now appeared. So uh, let, let's get right into it. And of course, we always have to talk about The Watcher. Jeffrey Wright does the voice of The Watcher in every episode. So he returns once again to narrate uh, what's the story going on in this episode? Uh, next up is Tony Stark. Tony Stark is uh, in the movies is played by Robert Downey Jr. Uh, but of course, as we heard in one of the previous episodes, he was voiced by Mick Wingert, uh, who did do the voice of Tony Stark in some other animated um, Marvel TV shows in the past. So. He has that experience of doing a Robert Downey Jr. impression already. Uh, moving on, Obadiah Stane was in this episode. Of course, he is played by Jeff Bridges in Iron Man 1, uh, but he was not voiced by Jeff Bridges in this episode. He was voiced by Kiff Vanden Heuvel. So uh, there you go. Uh, moving on to Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts was in this episode uh, first time also, just like Obadiah Stane. Uh, in the movies, she is portrayed by Gwyneth Paltrow, and they got a really good voice alike because it wasn't Gwyneth Paltrow in this episode. It was actually Beth Hoyt. So uh, that was interesting uh, to know about. General Ross was back in this episode, and in the movies, of course, he is played by William Hurt in The Incredible Hulk, and then he returned for Captain America Civil War and Infinity War Endgame, and he returned briefly in Black Widow. Well... Uh, of course, as we learned in episode three of the series of What If, uh, Mike McGill has taken over the role of General Ross. So there you go. Uh, Shuri was in this episode. That's right. This is Shuri's. Uh, she might have had a cameo in, in episode two. Maybe. I don't remember. But uh, she returns. In the movies, she is played by Latita Wright. Uh, but because the character was a little bit younger, she was voiced by Azioma Akaga. Now, of course, we have some returning cast members uh, from the movies that have returned for this episode. Uh, Chadwick Boseman himself, the Black Panther, T'Challa. Uh, that's right, Chadwick Boseman. This is the third episode now he has appeared. And we know it, it was confirmed by one of the showrunners that he would be in four episodes of the series. So we're already at episode number three, which is interesting. And uh, it was great hearing his voice once again. Happy Hogan, who we just saw in the previous episode, along with Chadwick Boseman. So they return in this episode as well, both of them. Uh, John Favreau does return to do the voice of uh, Happy Hogan. Uh, once again, also returning from the previous episode, Okoye, voiced by Denai Guerrera, returns. Uh, Denai Guerrera, yep, kicking ass as usual, even in voice mode. Uh, and then we also had John Canny, who returned to the voice of T'Chaka in this episode uh, because he was also in episode two of What If so far. So that was great. Jarvis is also in this episode and he only has like one line, but yes, he is voiced by Paul Bettany who also returned from the zombie episode from last week. So that's really cool. Uh, and then Christine Everhart, who was in the Doctor Strange episode of the series, she only had like a, a background line, you could barely hear her, uh, voiced by Leslie Bibb, who did play her in the movies, uh, she did return uh, with a, a couple more lines uh, that were more easier to point, pinpoint on, uh, she did return to voice her character in this episode. Now some actors from the movies that have returned that didn't appear yet in this series, starting off with Rhodey. Rhodey was in this episode, and no, he was not voiced by Terrence Howard, who played the character in the original Iron Man. He, instead, he is voiced by Don Cheadle, who took over the role starting in Iron Man 2. So it was kind of cool, just like uh, in, in episode three of the series where you know Mark Ruffalo was playing the Edward Norton character 
from that time frame of the films, uh, Don Cheadle comes in and, no, I'm I'm the roadie now, so it's me all the way. Uh, so moving on, we also got Ulysses Claw in this episode. Ulysses Claw was played by Andy Serkis, who does uh, return in this episode, and he he has such a distinct voice. It was uh, great to hear him uh, back as this character. Next up, we got Queen Ram- Ramonda. Uh, in the movie, she is played by Angela Bassett, and yes, she does return to do the voice of qu- the Queen of Wakanda, also the General of Wakanda, which is something new. So the Queen can also be the General. That's interesting. Uh, and yes, Angela Bassett, I think I said that already, <laughs> can return to play her once again. Uh, and then finally, last but not least, because he was the main focus of this episode, Killmonger, uh, for many people to be one of the best MCU villains, uh, returns in this episode, uh, being the main focus. And yes, Michael B. Jordan does return to voice his character. Uh, and it was great uh, hearing him get the focus that he deserves because, yes, Killmonger is one of the better MCU villains out there, one of the more memorable ones. Uh, and it was great hearing that little bit of interaction that we got of him and Chadwick Boseman interacting again. So uh, their scenes were really strong. You can feel that bond between those two uh, characters. With that being said, that's all the actors that have returned. Uh, of course, there's sometimes characters in the background that don't speak that have returned, but those ones don't count. We're only counting the ones that speak, that have a lot of dialogue or a little bit of dialogue, whatever. And uh, yeah, there you go. So tell me, guys, who are you excited to see coming back in upcoming episodes? We know there's still some left that still haven't shown up, like Chris Hemsworth as Thor. I'm curious on when his character is going to be showing up. Maybe next week? Maybe. It's possible. Uh, So we'll see. And uh, with that being said, comment below. Tell me your thoughts on all these great actors. Who is your favorite at returning so far? We've had some great ones. Who do you wish did return? Do you wish Robert Downey Jr. or Gwyneth Paltrow had returned? I kind of wish Jeff Bridges would have returned, man, as Obadiah Stane, because he has that distinct voice. And just like General Ross, as soon as Obadiah uh, Stane um started talking i was like oh man that does not sound like jeff bridges at all so (laughs) you know that's the difficulty of trying to find the perfect matches but this show has been doing a really damn good job at getting people that are close enough to a lot of those actors like i thought gwyneth paltrow actually was doing the voice of pepper Potts until i saw the end credits and the robert downey jr mick um What's his name? Mick Wingert. He's been uh, doing a fantastic job in the episodes he appeared in so far. So comment below. And uh, I want to plug in my Patreon supporters. These are the people that support this channel and they donate to a monthly subscription. Uh, There's a $5 tier and a $10 tier where you will get an end credit like you're seeing right now from these four great Patreon supporters of mine. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Uh, It's great to have support. Um, to this channel and uh, hopefully we'll get more hopefully I, I it would be great but I get it it's tough out there and maybe not everybody can support or maybe not a lot of people believe in me and uh, <laughs> it's sad if, if that's the case because I do work hard on my stuff I don't uh, fiddle around and, and you know I, I, I try to put as much effort into these videos as I can and uh, sometimes I do find ways to make it easier for me because I do have another job that does pay my bills but uh, if I can get more support behind this channel I can put more focus and energy into it but uh, I can only do what I can right now so there you go but there are other ways to support the channel too just like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already you know send a link out to people say hey check out this guy's videos look what he's doing he's doing some cool stuff if you find my stuff cool then please support it and um watch every video i post up too because everything every little bit helps comment below because that also helps it helps with the algorithm i don't understand the youtube algorithm a lot but Apparently, that's what it is, and uh, the more support I can get, the more awareness I can get, 
Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see. So with that being said, guys, that's about it. So until next time, everybody, take care.